Hello and welcome to Kinda Keto with Donna. Today be a fun day. We're doing chaffle prep day. Um, but this one is a holiday edition. Y'all seem to like the other uh, chaffle prep day that I had done several months ago. So I thought it'd be fun to do a whole bunch of holiday chaffles. So come along with me. Well, I am a big fan of Snoopy, Snoopy and Woodstock and all that. So I don't know if you could see my shirt. It says, Happy Everything. <laughs> so I thought it would be perfect. I'm going to do some fall ones and some Christmas ones to get us through the holidays. I'm going to do a variation of a chaffle. This could be a dessert chaffle or a breakfast chaffle. Chaffle, but I'm doing it as breakfast. So this is going to be a pumpkin chaffle. So I'm very excited about that. And it's your traditional chaffle ingredients, including almond flour, two eggs, some mozzarella cheese, some vanilla, and then we're going to add some pureed pumpkin and some pumpkin pie spice for a little extra flavor. And to top it off, uh, pecans are the best, but I don't have any pecans on hand. I've got this uh, nuts for keto raw, raw mix, which has almonds, pecans, and walnuts. So I'm debating between that. Or I've already got some chopped walnuts. I think that would do as well. Very easy to whip up. I have started with a tablespoon of the almond flour and actually a whole tablespoon of the pumpkin pie spice. We've got those. We're going to put everything except the cheese in here. We've got two eggs. We've got our vanilla. We're going to do one teaspoon. I swear, almost every recipe has one teaspoon of vanilla. <laughs> okay, and then our beautiful, gorgeous pumpkin puree. Okay, now we're going to whip all that together before we put the cheese in. This recipe makes four chaffles and is from Kim Spired DIY. I got that right? Yeah. <laughs> Dot com. There's several recipes out there that are pretty much all the same. Right, once you've got that all incorporated, now we're going to add our cheese. Okay, and that is one cup of the mozzarella. Considering it makes four, I just kind of start off with a quarter cup scoop to get it started. <gasps> the taste really good. Okay, about three and a half, three, three and a half minutes. Alrighty, so here we go. Pumpkin chaffles with a little butter and some of the I did the walnuts because that's what I had on hand but pecans I guess are the uh, traditional <laughs> but nuts are nuts to me and I am going to add a little Lakanto maple syrup there best deal I get is at big lots I don't use very much of that I've got my water and I've got my coffee and something a little bit different about my coffee is instead of doing like the whole latte thing, I finally made, and I will leave a link to the description of where I found it, a keto pumpkin spice creamer. So it's very exciting. And that way I have a batch and I can just put in, you know, whatever day I want to put it in. Okay, for gingerbread chaffles, uh, most of your cast of characters are pretty similar. So we're going to do the mozzarella cheese. And some almond flour, Ooh. some baking powder, help it rise. We've got a little golden monk fruit sweetener, your brown sugar alternative. I'm doing a half a batch 
uh, because I think it said it made five, and I don't know if I want that much, so I'm going to just try it out. Uh, so I'm going to just do one egg, otherwise a full batch would be two eggs, and some vanilla. So that's all pretty similar. And then to get the gingerbread flavors, I did break down and get some ground cloves. So uh, the ground cloves, cinnamon, this is ginger, it's kind of rubbed off, but it is ground ginger, and just a pinch of salt. So you're going to start off by just adding the, your shredded cheese and your eggs, in this case just one egg, and just mix until it will combine. And then you're going to add the almond flour. I used one and a half tablespoons for my half batch. One and a half tablespoons of the brown Lakanto. And a quarter teaspoon of the baking powder. And then I added a half a teaspoon of the ground ginger, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and just a quarter teaspoon of the ground cloves. And then I added half a teaspoon of vanilla and just a pinch of salt. And that's it. Yeah, here we go. Gingerbread truffles. You could add a little butter. You can do a Lakanto syrup. You can do a little, little whipped cream if you want to make it more of a dessert. I've got some either ground nutmeg or cinnamon. There you go. Voila. Well, these are the ingredients to make the red velvet. Actually, it's not really a chaffle. There's no cheese in it. So it's just a keto version of a red velvet waffle. So we are going to have some almond flour. Uh, this recipe that some don't call for the buttermilk. I kind of wanted to try the one with the buttermilk because I do hear that makes red velvet a little bit better. So I got buttermilk. I've got some monk fruit sweetener. Unsweetened cocoa. Some baking powder, some vanilla, a little salt, a couple of eggs. I'm doing a half a batch, so a full batch is four eggs, but it looks like it makes a lot, so I'm just going to do a half a batch. And if you have it on hand, um, any type of the food coloring, I've got some red here just to make it a little, a little deeper. And that's it for the waffle part. I almost forgot, we also need to melt some butter. For this recipe, this is two tablespoons of butter. I'm just going to zap it in the microwave for like 30 seconds or so. I let it cool down a touch uh, before I put it in the batter. Okay, so simple ingredients to make this cream cheese glaze. It's not a frosting, it's a glaze. So I have some cream cheese out here, about two ounces softening and powdered sweetener. And I use the Lakanto. And instead of buying powdered anymore, if you just pulse up classic granular, you get powdered. <laughs> so I put this in this container to use for other items. And we're gonna whip that together first before we do the chaffles. So for the glaze, you're just putting everything together. Got cream cheese, got the powdered sugar. So this is two ounces of cream cheese to three quarters of a cup. I did a little bit less of the powdered sugar. And about a half a cup of the heavy whipping cream. This is more or less, so I'm gonna hold it back a little bit. Get the consistency you want. And then we're just gonna whip together. I cut, I was gonna cut this in half too, but I had cream cheese that was already open. <laughs> so and I already put the two ounces aside, so I thought I would just just go ahead and make it, and I can keep it in the fridge for a little while. That looks good. I'm going to put that aside for later. Starting off with the dry ingredients, this recipe is from Keto in Pearls. And I'm making only a half a batch, which should be about uh, six chaffles. So I'm starting off with a cup of the um, almond flour. And I already put in a half a tablespoon of the cocoa powder. And I'm just going to add about a quarter cup, I do a little bit less, of the monk fruit. And just a half a teaspoon 
of the baking powder. Okay, we're just gonna whisk that all together. Okay, and I had my butter melting. Okay, so now our wet ingredients. We've got two eggs. See why I do scrambled eggs a lot. I break them easily. Uh -huh. We've got the two eggs. We've got some vanilla. That's going to be half of a teaspoon. And the melted butter. Just two tablespoons. Like I said, I am making a half a batch. I'm going to leave a link to this recipe. I'm going to do two tablespoons of the buttermilk. And I looked and looked, and this is the smallest buttermilk I could find, but it is great for marinating chicken. Probably also for um, there's some great chocolate cakes that have buttermilk. One and two. Close it up. Now I'm going to mix this first, and, and then comes the food coloring. Let me mix it all up first. Hmm, in a yellow bowl. I wonder if the food coloring is going to stain it. Okay, so obviously this could be your your batter. You would get the flavor, but if you wanted a little red, I highly suggest wearing a glove. <laughs> uh, just to it, if it drips and stuff, it does definitely stain. Now this is one tablespoon of gel, so this is not a gel. This is a little bit different. So I'm just gonna kind of. Eyeball it too. Let's just do four drops of this food stuff. It's from, uh, was it Wilton? There's, oh, look at that. Ooh, that does look nice. Okay, I think four is just fine. That looks like red velvet to me. Okay. Ooh, I like that color. Let's make some waffles. I'm going to start with a quarter a cup. Okay, uh, she says only one to two minutes in the, uh, if you're using a mini waffle maker, most chaffles are three and a half minutes. So definitely keep an eye on it. Okay, so there's our red velvet waffles and you could sprinkle a little, uh, you know, powdered sugar on there, but I think the icing is going to be sweet enough for me or, you know, a little whipped cream if you want to make it more desserty. I'm just going to do my frosting. So I'll put it in a little bit of a little bag here and I'm going to snip the end. Sometimes it comes out good, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> mm, a little thick, but oh well. I never said I was a artist. <laughs> Now for the eggnog chaffles, there might be some ingredients you might not have on hand. If you want to try it, this is what you need. So the um, monk fruit sweetener, which I always have on hand, so that's easy. Some coconut flour instead of the almond flour for this one. This is what you might not have on hand. Rum extract. Some salt. One egg for one serving. Some cream cheese, so no more mozzarella, but it's the cream cheese. And some nutmeg. Baking powder. And some homemade keto version of eggnog, which I made a video about. I will leave a link to. But this is homemade eggnog that you're going to need for this. Okay, so I started off with my egg and my cream cheese. That's all I've put in so far. And I have a quarter cup, so it's one ounce of cream cheese, one egg. I've got a quarter cup of my homemade eggnog. I put in two teaspoons of the monk fruit, sorry, already. So two teaspoons of the monk fruit. A half a teaspoon of the baking powder. Get off. The coconut flour, we're gonna do two tablespoons of the coconut flour. I'm curious why we're using coconut flour. 
and not the almond flour. Most things have almond flour on these chocolates. But anyway, maybe we're going to do just a little pinch of salt. A pinch of nutmeg, so <laughs> whatever that is. There you go. That's a couple pinches for good measure. And lastly, my rum extract calls for just a quarter teaspoon. So let's just, and that's it. And just whip together. Okay, and there we go. Uh, one serving is actually the three chuffles. And this recipe is from Keto Focus. And she does a creme anglaise. And I'm not going to do that today. I think I've got enough of this video right now. So I've got my, my chaffles. I got my cute little coffee mug. <laughs> so you can, um, you know, the creme anglaise. Or you can do a little whipped cream. Add a little nutmeg on there. And there you go. you got eggnog chaffles. Well, here's something a little extra to help enjoy the holidays. You still get holiday flavors and holiday fun, and you can still keep it keto. Well, that's it for now. So I hope you enjoy the holidays and you try something new. Leave me in the comment which one you want to try first. And of course, I'll leave all the recipes that I used in the description box. Well, it's time now for me to watch a Christmas movie. <laughs> and until next time, bye. Thank you.